Hi, Tim Roberts, Application Engineer with Go Engineer. This quick tip video, I'm going to be discussing the setup for the porous media model in flow simulation. So we can simulate the resistance of, uh, you know, batting, uh, screen material, uh, wh whatever that might be in our flow path that provides resistance. The first thing to discuss is the mathematical model this is based on will be found in your flow simulation engineering database. This is where all our materials are as well as porous media definition. So we have its own category here. You'll find three simple predefines. Um, by the way, you can have isotropic, you can have orthotropic uh, porous media, and you're going to give it the material properties uh, of that based on some mathematical uh, constants. Okay, so you, you, you would come to the table with that, and very likely you will be creating your own user-defined, so feel free to use these predefined as, um, as go-bys. Okay, but that's going to be required. The second thing to talk about is the fact that um, we model a solid that represents the volume of the porous media model. For example, this blue part here in our uh, catalytic converter if we look at that, it really is just a solid body that uh, fills the volume of the flow path. Okay, so we happen to have two of those here. But when you insert your porous media model, let's look at our flow project. Uh, that's going to be flow simulation insert porous media. When we do that, we end up with something like this, where the components are selected our two blue parts, the monoliths, and we apply the mathematic um, porous media definition to it. Now, what happens in this, uh, in this process is that automatically is going to disable that solid component if you do a check geometry on it, which I would recommend on everything before you run in flow. You can see that the monolith models here have been uh, disabled. Okay, So their geometry is not going to be considered, uh, it's not going to be meshed rather it's going to use the volume of those um, components to apply the mathematical uh, definition of the porous media model to give you some pressure resistance simulating porous media. So that's what's going on. That's just a real quick overview of uh, the porous media model and flow simulation. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.